What is up, people? Welcome back to Demon Souls. Today, we continue our quest to kill every named Black Phantom NPC in this game before we say farewell. And I can see over there, Satsuke has left us a present. Shall we go see what it is? The Hiltless. Lovely. Let me show this off. The Dex weapon. Who would ever use a Dex weapon, eh? What do you think I am? Some kind of casual? Right. Storm Ruler has proven itself rather useful recently, to my surprise. So I've been doing some reading up on a character tendency because I didn't quite remember how it functions right, but I've explained before there is like a pseudo-morality system in this game. And it's only really relevant if you want the Platinum because you need pure white character tendency to get all of the rings, right? Because the Monumental, I can forge. if you remember the uh, strange child... At the very start of the game that you have to talk to to start actually working your way through all of the arch stones. He gives it to you if you have pure white character tendency. I want to repair my storm ruler, but I guess I can't. So how do you achieve pure white character tendency? Well, you play online and you kill invaders. If that's not an option, I think the only way to do it is to kill the five named black phantom NPCs as we have been doing. However, there is a catch. You have to kill them without cheesing them. You can't cast Poison Cloud. You can't use the Soul Sucker move, which I believe insta-kills anything. And you can't cheese them with a Storm Ruler. So if you want Platinum, you can't even throw Doran off a cliff. You have to... Oh, Doran's not involved. But any of the Black Phantom NPCs, you can't throw them off the cliff. A cliff. The cliff. Whatever. So uh, from software require you to actually get the killing blow with some kind of weapon, which is ridiculous. If it wasn't bullshit enough, you can't even cheese them. And knocking them off isn't really cheese, it's creative, I would say. Perhaps that's just an excuse. Well, you might be wondering why we've come here. I wanted to show off the Dragon Bone Smasher, which I will not be able to use, but this is an iconic weapon from Demon Souls, one of the very best strength weapons in this game it is crazy and it's also relevant to a quest line that we want to do just to show it off with Skurvia the Wanderer who is also in this zone and uh, also the Black Phantom that we will be fighting but uh, interestingly enough I believe we can just yeet this guy off a cliff like we have done with Doran and Satsuke so that's wonderful stuff but there are a number that we won't be able to cheese Lord Rydell in uh Tower of Latria, Selen Vinland. I'm saving that to last because that's going to be ridiculous. And there is also a Black Phantom Gull Vinland we have to fight, although he's not one of the five special NPCs that can shift character tendency. So Skurva's questline is pretty simple. If you've got the Dragon Bone Smasher, he'll ask to take a peek. And when he does, he will give you some kind of upgrade material. I think it's a pure, maybe a pure Dragonstone for the fire upgrade path. We also haven't been down here at all, so this is, uh, you know, nice. Uh, but otherwise, we got to kill his uh, Black Phantom variant. But I actually think it's fairly reasonable. He's got a lot of spells, but I think he can run out of mana. Which is, uh, that's nice. It's good that he can do that, because oftentimes NPCs do not abide by any rules. So how the hell do we get down there? Because that's going to kill me. Bro, here I guess. This is also an alternate route down to Flame Lurker. Dude, I can't see shit though. There it is. There it is. Demon Souls fall damage, man. It's either really forgiving or you just die. You just die. Hello, my friend. I guess we'll get this lizard. No. Yeah, get back here. What? Huh? Right, R2 it is then. And you? Stamina! There we go. Hardstone. Uh, we don't need any of this, but it's the principle, you know, man. I don't want to let a lizard escape me if it's unnecessary. Oh, oh, you nearly frightened me to death, creeping up on me. Stuttering like Skervir. My name is Skervir. I didn't creep up on you, man. <laughs> I'm impressed you've come this far. Were His face guided by a six is a very square. Imprudent. Either way, you've more skill than I. Let us put that s skill to work. Th there is a th the skill. temple beyond here. He reminds me of myself. It is a work of art 
molded by the ancient burrowers. B -b 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 burrowers. The bones of B -b dragons. As a precaution, a broad sword which can cr crush bone and slay dragons hmm. stored in the temple. Sounds familiar, told, eh? It is the laughing stock of many a swordsmith. They say it's as blunt as a bludgeon. B -b 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 this is a great voice dull acting. Blade meant to slay a dragon. C curious, is it not? It can pancake, though. Search for it myself, but Who cares I'm if it's blunt, bro? If you're just gonna smack someone over the head demons. with it. If you happen to come upon the sword, please let me have so he's not going to turn on us and try and kill us for it like satsuke is eh? it is the truly bones of dragons exuding awe a dream come true hey that's it is you indeed found it i did let me have a look now what let me equip it this is a bit immersion breaking otherwise i mean i won't be able to use it here we go Look at it though. It's dope. Come on, demon souls. Wonderful. The arts of swordsmanship applied in a perfectly useless manner. I don't know about useless man. Hmm. Have you ever put <sighs> curse weapon on it with a cracked talisman hmm. of beasts, no? Oh, do not mind me. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Please take this as a small show of thanks. Take care of that sword, will you? She's a beauty. I certainly will, my friend, although I can't use it. A grey stone, lovely. What's that Take for? Can't remember. She has exactly the same moveset as any other ultra great sword, but it is really, really good, and you can buff it. Things get pretty crazy if you put cursed weapon on it. Pretty insane stuff all around. Anyway, we need to get out of here. I should have duped some uh some of these really. Although, you know what? Doesn't matter if we lose souls really does not so we'll just use the next seal binding when i run out whatever it is time i should have just killed myself then what a waste of time because i'm gonna go exactly back what's the quickest way to die in stone fang do you reckon probably where i was right god damn it what a fool i am unfortunately this how it be in demon souls a whole lot of killing yourself if you wish to see all of the tendency events this game is unbelievably tedious to platinum were it not for the dupe man the dupe makes it reasonable but otherwise you'll have to play through like three or four times and uh you can you will have to farm a pure blade stone which can take dozens of hours <laughs> having a race with this lizard here right we're gonna have to kill ourselves seven times goodbye i should have picked up my souls or whatever bro we are approaching end game Kind of meaningless. Don't think we're going to run out of heals. And we will always accumulate more, right? I hope there's a, like, reliable, quick way to kill myself in every zone. Otherwise, this will get rather tedious. I mean, it's not too bad. It's just a whole lot of killing yourself. A whole lot of warping to and from. So we were at pure white, which is plus three. So every time we die in human form, it will drop by one. So I've already lost count. Jesus fucking Christ. I think that's death number three, so we'll be on neutral now, so that's another four deaths. However, I might be wrong, as you know how it went in the last episode, where my maths was just a whack, dude. Would be cool to do, like, a permanent pure black tendency playthrough of this game, so it'll be a lot harder. And you'll get to see all the, uh, the enemy black phantoms, like the mob variants as opposed to the named ones. And as you've seen, there are, like, other black phantoms that are in the levels that are like one-time spawns. Like the, the two idiots with the clubs in this zone, if you remember. So we're on minus one now, so three more deaths. I realize this isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, but it, th this is <laughs> part of Demon Souls, man. And uh, the NPC black phantoms, as bullshit as they are, it's one of the more like unique things about Demon Souls, man. I kind of like it. It's like some sort of... It's, well, I don't want to say side quest. It's just really kind of interesting that they're here and they all drop like really good loot and they're really really hard and uh i can only imagine playing through this game having like no knowledge of tendency and like you know the uh the utter confusion bumping into a black phantom npc who then proceeds to one-shot you but i did a lot of reading up on this game as i played through it for the first time 
just uh, as this was like the first Souls game that I actually properly dived into, I thought where this game is obtuse and unclear about certain things, it just made sense to have a guide. And the uh, Black Phantom edition of the game, which I have, even contains a guide within it. Which, uh, funnily enough, encourages you to get... What am I doing? Encourages you to get the Crescent Falchion. So even the guide that comes with the game... Ah! ...knows how ridiculous that weapon is. It really is the best weapon available to you early on. I would say there might be others, but it's probably the easiest to obtain. Anyway. Is that it? I don't remember. My maths is whack. This is, this is the problem when I start talking. Perhaps we should record all future episodes in silence, no? Anyway, once more for good luck. Sure, why not? And then we have to warp in and out. And then we go back to exactly where Skurvil was before. This time he'll be a black phantom and he will be aggressive towards us. He's got fire magic. Pre-pyromancy this was, so... Fire spells are just lumped in with general magic. What am I doing, man? But I think it's actually quite easy. From what I remember, because I have... Killed him for the Talisman of Beasts a number of times, which is a, a miracle talisman, obviously. I mean, you all know that, right? I love to over-explain, I do. It's pretty busted. Uh, there's a specific thing you can do in this game called uh, a Cracked Talisman of Beasts build. And what it is, is using the Talisman of Beasts, but not meeting the requirements for it. And casting Curse... I am a stuttering mess today, much like Skurva himself. If you cast Cursed Weapon with a Talisman of Beasts that you do not meet the requirements for, where Cursed Weapon would actually cause your health to... I was going to say deceit. That's not a fucking word, bro. Why are the words escaping me today? It would cause your health to... We're going to go... We're going to go... We're going to go human because there's no reason not to. Fuck, I'm so sorry. Where it would cause your health to decrease over time, like, say, power within, for example? Ah! Wow, that killed me. Okay, then. If you use the Talisman of Beasts and you don't have the requirements for it, it will actually decrease your health at a much, much slower rate. And you can even offset it with, you know, a regen ring or something or the Adjudicator Shield that I'm using. What that means is you can buff your weapon for, I think it gives you 50% additional damage. With no real penalty at all, and it gets pretty nuts. And I'm kind of regretting my decision not to do something obscenely overpowered, although this would have been a lot shorter and not much of a challenge if that were the case. Ah, oh, for fuck! God. God. I hope you're enjoying the episode, guys. I realize nothing much of anything is happening, and I'm a stuttering mess. But yeah, there are some gnarly overpowered setups in this game, and... Uh, I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but it would have been cool to be able to show them off. But it obviously requires a lot of work to get one of those builds up and running. Like, it would have been cool to show you just how busted magic is. And uh, where this is an emulator, I don't have, you know, prior save files, right? I don't have builds that are from, you know, years ago or whatever. Why do I get confused every time? It's over here. But yeah, uh, magic is busted. And uh, cursed weapon with a cracked talisman of beasts. And a number of strength weapons. Dragon Bone Smasher. Uh, what's it? The Meat Cleaver. Things can get silly. And it is really fun. It is really fun. You can like two or three shot certain bosses. But uh, I guess we'll save that for another time maybe. There he is. Let us cast this, shall we? And I'm going to heal up. And... So I think what you can do here... Does he have second chance as well? He does. What a bitch. I do wonder if those fireballs will one-shot me. But you can wait till he runs out of mana. Wow! That was bogus. Did you see how quick that came out? Right, no, I, I don't have the patience, bro. Whoa! Gnarly! Wow. That comes out so quick. God. Yes, right. I've had enough of your shit. I don't know if this will actually kill him. Right. You're getting off. Get off. Oh, I pushed him. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, he's dead. 
Yep, sit the fuck down. I love the storm roller, dude. <laughs> I fucking love it. My god, I wish I knew about this sooner. This is so much fun. Like I've said, though, if you want platinum, you can't do this. You have to kill them with a weapon. Right, so that's uh, Skurvid done. And next, we're going to do Executioner Mirauda. But I'll show you her NPC form first. She will attack you either way, but this will cause the tendency to drop, which will give us a little head start, I guess, in terms of, like, routinely having to kill myself. Oh, I don't know if I can even get in here anymore, because I killed Doran. Oh, no, it remains open. You just have to get either pure white or pure black, and then it will stay open. It's just, it's a really interesting system, man. It's bold, it's ambitious. I really dig it. It's just, uh, like I've said many, many times, not very well explained. And I'm sure the remake will have to do something about that. It really should. I mean, I know these games are kind of like... They expect you to do some deep diving on the wiki and stuff. However, you know, not everyone's going to do that. This is a PS5 launch title. I'm sure a lot of more casual players will pick this up just because it looks cool. So you want to make sure that they understand, you know, what's going on in this game. It just needs an explanation at the bare minimum. Doesn't have to be a good one. We barely got one. Right, where is she? I still have the bone smasher on me. She ain't here. Why is she not here, though? Did I kill her? I did not. What's my tendency here saying? It's like white. Why? <laughs> she must have died at some point. So this is an entirely, like, optional area, which is cool. And you get Beor's armor here, but I don't want anything here. So, Nexial binding it is, just to speed things up. Oh no, I need to die here. Let's just die here. Will this kill me? I sure hope so. Nice split. So when you kill an NPC Black Phantom, it actually increases your tendency. I know you can just let enemies kill you, but... When you're a higher level, and you know, basic 1-1 enemies attack you, they do literally a smidgen of damage, so... It will be quicker to routinely jump off of this cliff. I want to say it is a shame that, um, you know, I haven't been able to show off any of the online stuff. Especially the old monk fight, the PvP battle. Would have been really cool to show that off. But uh, Demon Souls PvP is not great. It really is not. We should be at minus one. No, minus two now. You know what I haven't done, though? Found another primordial demon. Pr primeval. But I can't remember where they are. Maybe we'll have a look. You died. Mephistopheles. That's an NPC that will only appear if you have pure black character tendency. How do you achieve pure black character tendency? Well, it's a lot simpler than pure white, right? You just have to be a bit of an asshole and kill a bunch of NPCs. And uh, eventually she will spawn in and she has a quest line involving... ...just killing everyone in the Nexus, basically. I don't know why you'd ever really want to do that. Unless you're really into role-playing. Making the game harder for yourself. Right, that should do it. Let's warp in and out. ba da ba ba da ba -bo. Old King Doran. Right, we are first going to take a detour to 1-3 to kill a primeval demon for that soul. And then I'm going to assess if I can actually upgrade this weapon or not. Even though we don't really need to. Again, this is another, like, interesting feature in Demon Souls. So, why the hell not, eh? You know what I've done in the past, though? I have always just killed one and then duped it. And got myself 99 of them. So I don't think I've even ever seen this one. I had to just reference a guide quickly. But yeah, doing Demon Souls legit, it's pretty solid, man. Yeah, in the Platinum, pretty solid. Not so bad with the dupe, though. Are we in pure black? We're in black. We're not pure black, which is strange. I always seem to get this wrong. But I think black is enough for the primeval demon to spawn. Yes, there he is. Honestly, what am I looking at here? It's really, really disgusting. Absolutely hideous. Ow. And they are completely defenseless, I believe. Got it. Nice. Right, we need to die in human form once more, apparently. So how do I do that? How am how I going to do that, though? Right, come on, guys. Three red-eyed knights should do it, right? Oh, boy. 
Yes. I didn't know I got the Mario theme tune in my head. Right, is that pure black? Of course, it won't update. It is pure black. Because primeval demons, primeval, primeval, I need to pick one and stick with it. They only spawn in black. So we are now in pure black. So, let's go kill Executioner Miralda. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Demon Souls has unique armor sets for each gender. If you get a female armor set as a male, you literally cannot wear it. Whereas, um, which is cool, sure, but I think Dark Souls addressed that, like, better because there are variations in armor sets between male and female, but, uh, it just depends what gender you are when you pick that set of armor up, right? Which is really cool. How are we not in pure black? What am I not understanding? Does uh, killing the primeval demons increase tendency? What in the fuck, dude? Seriously, seriously confusing. Whatever. Maybe we need... I think we need to kill ourselves another two times. I don't know, man. Record number of deaths. Do, 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 do. I hope um, Demon Souls Remake comes to PC. Not only because I mostly play on PC, but... Mods, dude. Mods. Gimme mods. Challenge run mods. Tendency mods. I also hope Bluepoint do some cool stuff with tendency. Like I mentioned in the last episode with tendency server events. So, you know, keep it like black for Halloween. Pure white for Christmas. For a white Christmas, you know. Once more. Gravity has killed us more than anything else in this game. This game's pretty much Groundhog Day, or any Souls game, right? You just kill yourself and then... Oh, I'm back, never mind. Right, we need to leave and come back. Right. Yes. It is very much pure black. We shouldn't struggle here. Also, there are a number of places we can yeet Meralda off. Which is lovely, and I think we are just going to do that for the most part. Because it's, uh, it's very entertaining. It is very entertaining. So there's a cliffside there that we can use, or um, alternatively, we can try and throw her down the, uh, I don't know what you call it, where uh, Beor's armor is. From Software had Ballsman implementing a system that can make the game harder, uh, you know, against your will or knowledge, because they don't explain it. I was like, where the fuck is she? Right, we're going human. Blow the fuck down, bitch. Nice. I didn't cast second chance, though. We might actually be able to do this legit, though. They have so much health. Not when they roll cancel out of shit. Okay, it's not obnoxious damage. But, uh... You know, I'm impatient, so you are going. Wow. Wow. Off that cliff. You are going straight into the pits of Boletaria. Goodbye, scrub. See ya. Look at all this loot that I don't want. Right, well, that was a lot easier than I expected. Praise the Storm Ruler. Honestly, sending enemies flying is like my new favorite thing about Demon Souls. Whoa. I love this area, dude. What a game this is. What a playthrough it's been. So I'm going to actually end the video there. I'm sorry it hasn't amounted to much, but that's kind of the nature of these like dedicated episodes on the uh, quirkier elements of this game. However, next time we are going to do the two remaining named NPC Black Phantoms, which will be Lord Rydell in Latria 3-1 and Selen Vinland in 5-2. Uh, Valley of Defilement. That's going to be bullshit. We'll also kill Black Phantom Gal Vinland because why the hell not? I think you need to because Selen Vinland has another quest line or something. I'll, I'll explore that next time. And then we will kill the final boss of Demon Souls and say goodbye. So this is the second to last episode. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please let me know down below. Please like the video. Otherwise, I will see you next time for the final episode of my original Demon Souls playthrough. Of course, on to the remake soon and Bloodborne. Exciting times ahead. And as always, thank you for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm having a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys enjoy listening to me talk a whole bunch of bullshit and uh, yeet enemies off cliffs. You know, I didn't think this playthrough would turn out like this, but, uh, you know, 
the happy accident, I guess. Anyway, praise the sun, guys. Don't you dare go hollow. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Goodbye. Bang your heads. <laughs>